The GZ251 from 3U Audio. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no pants. So I've had a few requests to demo the GZ251 from 3U Audio. Now, 3U Audio is a boutique microphone company based out of Australia that was founded by Guo Xing Zhang, who is a capsule designer whose capsules really uh, are in a lot of microphones from a lot of boutique companies and larger than boutique companies around the world. So he's a third-party capsule creator for, you know, a lot of big people. And the thing I love about this is that even though he's a capsule creator, he's a microphone genius <laughs> because he builds his own microphones and he sells them under the 3U audio moniker. And he sells them directly. And these are premium built microphones, premium parts, okay? AMI transformer, WEMA capacitors, Really, you know, top-notch mil-spec resistors. You know, these are premium parts. This is a microphone that is probably the equivalent of any $1,000, $1,200, $1,500 microphone out there. But you know what? From 3U Audio, you could buy them directly. You buy them directly. You buy them right from the guy who makes them. So you pay wholesale prices for it. How crazy is that? So this microphone generally sells on eBay for $5.99 or thereabouts. I may be wrong. Maybe six in change. But the genius thing is if you contact 3U Audio directly, you can get it at a discount. <laughs> so he takes that 10% that eBay charges. He takes it right off the top. You buy directly from him. It's amazing. It is incredible that more people do not know about 3U Audio. Now, I am not being compensated by 3U Audio. I am not an employee of 3U Audio. I am a huge fan of Guo Xing Zhang's work. His capsules appear in some of my microphones. And this microphone is really cool because th this is really, I think, the only FET version of a 251 out there. I may be wrong, but I don't think there are a lot of them. Now, when I say a 251, I'm talking about the uh, tube version of a 251, okay? And if you kind of, a little bit backstory, right? The 251 is kind of a cousin to the C12, except the 251 has more harmonic content to it. So while the C12 is more of a cleaner sounding mic, this mic has a little bit more grit and a little bit more squish. It has a little bit more, uh, I don't know. It leans, and see the thing is that grit, that little bit of squish, kind of leans it a little bit more into forward territory, right? It's not like a microphone that sits back so much, but it still has that smiley, curvy cue to it, where you hear there's, a, there's kind of a, a bottom end boost and a really airy high end. And there's not a lot, like mids are pretty flat. Right? I mean, you don't really hear any sort of peaky mid rangey stuff in I go down here and, mm, uh, uh, right? So, <laughs> if I go up here, it, it doesn't really sound too, uh, 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 doesn't sound too bright. It doesn't sound too sibilant, but it cuts. It's, it's, got a, it's got a lot of presence up here. And this is the beauty of a, of a microphone that has an edge terminated capsule, that smiley face EQ is really flattering to your voice because it's meant to represent your voice. It doesn't, it doesn't have that mid-forwardness, that little bit. And I'm not saying that the mid-forward microphones make you sound uh, artificial or, or not like you. Mid-forward microphones, like the 87, they really emphasize certain frequencies to better cut through a mix. Edge-terminated capsule microphones are supposed to more accurately depict the uh, signal source. Except with a 251, what you're getting is you're getting more of that harmonic content. So you're getting something that is larger than life. So in essence, you get kind of a larger than life uh, image, sonic image, than you would with a uh, 414 style microphone. Now that being said, I don't really feel like this microphone is, is the right choice for commercial reads, okay? I, I, think, I think that a, a 
commercial microphone, a, a microphone that you would use for commercials or promos or anything of that nature. Uh, really should be mid forward to better cut through a mix or but if you're doing things that you don't that you know are um not going to be competing against uh sound effects or a music bed right if it's just your voice if it's just naked voice then you can use a microphone like this because it has a full range a full spectrum and yet it doesn't feel like your voice is like two in your face. And yet that harmonic distortion, that little bit of extra harmonic distortion, that harmonic content makes it feel like it's a little bit closer to you. Like it's right there. Like I'm right there with you. I'm here with you. I'm here for you. <laughs> so this, I think this is a great choice for, say, an audiobook read. So um, I pulled up some uh, copy. I, I grabbed a PDF that was in my folder. It happens to be The Great Gatsby. I love this book. So I just kind of scrolled it down to the end. And uh, here, let me try to read it. And you know what? I rarely ever read something like this in one full take. So please, <laughs> don't expect me to read it in one full take. All right, here we go. Mm. Oh, that's good. And as I sat there brooding on the old unknown world, I thought of Gatsby's wonder when he first picked out the green light at the end of Daisy's dock. He had come a long way to this blue lawn, and his dream must have seemed so close that he could hardly fail to grasp it. He did not know that it was already behind him, somewhere back in that vast obscurity beyond the city, where the dark fields of the Republic rolled on under the night. Right? I would totally use this for an audiobook read. I hate doing audiobooks, so I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, so we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. So the GZ251 <laughs> microphone, it's a pretty special mic. And it's an incredible bargain. The bang for your buck on this microphone. I guarantee you that if... Okay, so let's just kind of talk a little bit about... All right, I'm going to get a little specific here. So, you know what? Close the door. Make sure no one else is listening. My understanding is that 3U Audio capsules are the ones that are used in the ADK Premium line. Now, I don't know if that's still true. And the ADK Premium line of, of microphones, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. Sorry, I keep, I keep popping it because I don't want to put a, a pop filter in front of it. They're not cheap microphones. So, you know, take a look. Think. I'm just saying, these are great microphones. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> and you know what? Here's the other cool thing about it. Guo Xing Zhang. If you email him, he's a super busy dude. He's, he's actually, here's the other thing. They have their own factory. They have their own factory in China where they do, they're, they make their own capsules by hand. They're hand assembling capsules in a factory. And the reason he has his factory in China is because his factory is in, there's a district in China. There's like a square block radius of all microphone parts uh, companies in China. It's like a microphone district. So all these companies, you know, they work together and they, they use each other's resources to fulfill their business, uh, you know, needs. It's a brilliant idea, right? In the, in the city, uh, I think it's, um, I don't forget which one. <laughs> so, uh, Xinjiang, I think. Uh, they have, uh, you know, areas where, yeah, there's a microphone district. So he has, he has a factory in the microphone district. Which makes it easier to get, you know, your metal parts and all the components. And so he's often, he's often traveling between Australia and a factory in China. And so, you know, you can email him. Um, email him directly at 3uaudio at gmail.com if you want to know more or if you want to get a price or if you want to order something. But don't waste his time, okay? 
but he will answer your questions because he's a really he's a really nice guy. <laughs> he's a super nice guy. And uh and he makes really damn good microphones. So anyway, so uh so here's my uh very short uh demo. Is it really short? 10 minutes. My god. <laughs> I need to shut up now. All right, so the GZ251 by 3U Audio. What do you think? What do you think of this microphone? Let me know. Leave a comment. Until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.